YouTube! My name is Des and I'm nearing my one year natural hair anniversary. I want to make this video talking about my natural hair journey just to document how far I've come and share with you the things I've learned. So hopefully you like it and thank you for watching. So I'm going to start at the beginning, obviously. When I was very little, my hair was pretty much the same as it is right now. It was very thick and very curly like it is, but it was a lot longer. It was, I want to say shoulder, maybe bra strap, I'm not sure, but it was longer than it is right now, and it was a lot to deal with, so my parents would take turns. My dad would do my hair every day for school, and I'd have it in little pigtails or this ball thing at the top of my head. I hated that style, but he would do it every day, and then my mom would do my hair on the weekends or for special occasions when I had to have my hair flat ironed or something. And I hated it. I hated it when my mom did my hair because she would always be in charge of washing it and of course combing it out. And she would use a fine tooth comb on my dry hair and I was very tender headed, still am tender headed. And it would be absolute torture every time she did my hair. I would scream and cry and it would take hours and she would get frustrated and it was just a huge mess all around because no one liked it. So this went on for years until finally I want to say I was in third or fourth grade when my mom first took me to the hair salon and I got a texturizer which is like a light perm. So the texturizer didn't get rid of my curls it just loosened them out a bit. So instead of curls, I had waves. So I got that done and then I got my hair flat ironed and I was so in love with my hair because it didn't hurt. It wasn't painful to have my hair done anymore. So I was ecstatic and just continued to get texturizers every six months for a while, years, years and years and years. Everything was fine until about high school which was, um, I started high school in 2009, and that's when my hair started breaking off. My hair was bra strap length to the middle of my back, one of those two, I can't remember, and it started breaking off, and I had no idea how to take care of my hair. It was starting to look raggedy on the edges, the edges looked dry, and it just looked, my hair looked dead, and I had no idea how to take care of it and it would look amazing after I went to the hair salon and then for the next week or two until I went back it would just look a mess and I didn't take a lot of pictures during that time because of that. I was around 16 when I was washing my hair one day and just a note washing my hair took four hours because I, had, <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing I was tender headed so I was trying to go really slow and I had a lot of hair, so the blow drying and the flat ironing took forever. So four hours, I never washed my hair for that reason. I always waited to go to the hair salon. So one day I finally, um, one of the few times I was washing my hair on my own, and I was like, forget this, I'm not doing this right now, I'm gonna leave it. And I didn't blow dry my hair. And then a few hours later I looked in the mirror, and I was like, duh, I have curls, oh my gosh, look at my hair. And I was so excited, I was like, my hair looks good like this. Except it wasn't really curls like I have right now. It was this heat damaged, chemical damaged, wave looking thing. But I was still happy because it was easy. It looked halfway decent. And I wasn't spending hours and hours and hours trying to deal with it. So for a couple of months, I wore my hair in this curly looking frizz thing. And my parents liked it. They thought, it just looked great, much better than the heat damaged um, flat look I was going for before. So I would have probably just continued transitioning unknowingly had I continued just wearing my hair curly like that, except I started doing pageants. And going to events, competing in pageants, I had to look pageant ready all the time and that required something a lot more polished than my frizzy looking thing, whatever it was. So I started going back to the hair salon and this time I started trying to flat iron my hair myself. 
And that's where a lot more damage came in because I had no idea what I was doing. I never had any idea what I was doing. My hair was a wreck. And it was just getting worse and worse until finally it was time for the big pageant. It was Miss Florida Teen USA. I was going to be by myself in Hollywood, Florida competing for an entire weekend. And I had to know how to do my hair. Obviously, I had no idea what to do with my hair. So my mom took me to the hair salon and she's like, okay, we're going to get you a perm so your hair can be more manageable over the weekend. And I had a fit. I started almost started crying in the middle of the hair salon. I was like, I don't want to get a perm. You were always talking about how much you hate your hair. Why would I want to get a perm? And she was like, fine, fine, Desiree. Just get a texturizer. And I was really happy with that. So I got a texturizer and I got a roller set, which was supposed to last for the entire weekend. So I wouldn't have to do anything. Well, it was good the first two days. The third day, it looked bad. The fourth day, it looked a hot mess. It looked like I had a bird's nest on my head. And that was the day that was supposed to be televised. That was supposed to be on TV. I was supposed to be looking my absolute best that day. And I looked like I had matted poodle fur on my head. I went on stage looking like a mess. And needless to say, I didn't win. <laughs> I looked ridiculous. And I came back feeling so down on myself about my hair, about the passion, just about everything. And of course I ran to the hair salon to get my hair fixed because I couldn't do it. And I felt terrible about the whole thing. So over the next couple of months, I started shifting my ideas, um, my thoughts to college because I was going to have to go soon. And I was thinking, I hate going to the hair salon. I'm going to be a broke college student. How am I going to pay to go to the hair salon? I'm going to be in a new city. I have to find a hair salon. This just, I'm getting really stressed out about my hair. So that was nagging me in the back of my mind. And by chance, I um, happened to watch a Kareem Bailey Ray video. And I hadn't listened to her in a while. And this was totally random. I found it on YouTube. And she had this amazing looking braid out. And I was like, I want that hair. Get me that. How do I find that? So I went all over the internet looking for how to recreate that style. And I found an interview with her on CurlyNikki.com talking about her hair. And if you don't know, CurlyNikki.com is a natural hair blog. So I recreated the style. I started wearing it all the time. And I stayed on that site for months just looking at natural hair stuff, learning how to take care of my hair. I kept on wearing the style all the time. I was really happy with my hair. Everyone was telling me how good it looked. And this went on for more months. And then I remember looking in the mirror and seeing, I, you probably can't see right now, but in the front, my hair is kinkier than the rest of my hair. It's like a 4A, whereas the rest is probably a 3C. I'm not really sure with the hair typing but it was kinkier and I was looking at it I'm like you need to go get a texturizer and then I stopped myself I'm like no I don't if I want my hair texture to match why don't I just grow it out and then it clicked for me I've been going to natural hair blogs for months not ever considering going natural myself and that's when it clicked it's like okay I need to stop getting texturizers so I was completely on board. I told my parents. They were super excited. They were like, oh, your hair looks so much better like this anyway. So everyone was set. I was playing with my hair all the time, learning all these new things about my hair, and just feeling really good about myself because I could finally do something with it. I want to say about a year passed, and it was November 2012, and I was like, Okay, this is getting really annoying because the texture was getting hard to match. I wasn't getting second day hair anymore. I was having to redo my braid outs every single day in order for it to look good because it would just revert back and be really kinky at the front and just look crazy. So I was like, okay, parents, I need to get my hair cut like right away. And they did not understand the urgency of it. They were pushing me off, pushing me off. So finally, one day they went on a date and it was a dinner and a movie. It was going to be four hours 
of alone time and I was going to be at the house. Well, as soon as they left, I locked my door to my room, went, and I chopped off all of my hair. When they came back, surprised is probably the understatement of the year. At first, my dad looked at my hair and he started laughing because I guess he thought I had on a wig or something. I don't know. He started laughing and then he came closer and he looked at me. And he's like, what did you do? I'm like, I, I cut my hair. The comb got stuck. I made up this really stupid excuse. He's like, you have an afro. Do you think your hair looks better like this? You have an afro. And he kept saying that over and over again. I guess he thought that was just the worst. I don't know. And my mom pretty much had the same reaction, like I had poop on my face. They were just so against my hair. And after five minutes of them kind of being really aggressive about it, I was like, okay, they're not going to like it. I love it. So I'm just going to rock it. And that's, that's it. So I did. And I loved my hair. About a week later, my mom took me to the hair salon to get the cut fixed because, you know, doing it myself, I messed up a little bit, but she took me to the hair salon to get my cut fixed, and the same day was my cousin's birthday party. She was having a sweet 16, and my whole family was going to be there. So this was like my coming out natural event, <laughs> whatever. That sounds weird, but it was the first time everybody was going to see my haircut, so... I had the style done. It was a flat twist on one side and then kind of my curly afro coming down on the other side. The picture that I have doesn't really show the detail very well, but that's pretty much how it looked. And everyone loved my hair. They had nothing but nice things to say about it. And when my mom saw the rest of her family kind of liking my hair, she came around too. That was it. I wore my natural hair all the time. I was really comfortable with having my short curly hair. And as it started getting longer and as I learned to do more things with it, my dad came around too. And my mom eventually went natural herself. So if people are criticizing you, if people are telling you that you don't have the hair type to go natural, that it's going to look weird on your face or any kind of stupid thing, or if you don't feel good about it, it's about your hair health. It's about taking care of your hair. And it doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It's your hair. You were born with it. This is your hair. So you can wear it the way it was meant to be worn. I don't listen to people when they have anything negative to say because it's probably just ignorance. They probably just don't know. So. My advice is, if you want to go natural, do it. Do it. There's nothing stopping you. And if you hate it, you absolutely hate it, you can't deal with it, go back to a relaxer. What have you got to lose? Absolutely nothing. There is a huge community here on YouTube. There are blogs. It is a lot easier to go natural now than it was a couple of years ago. So I would definitely recommend it. It's one of the best things I have ever done for myself and definitely the best thing I've ever done for my hair and I'm just really happy being able to be in control it's so much cheaper <laughs> $120 to get my hair flat ironed before down to like a couple dollars a month it is so much cheaper so much easier and I love my hair so I'm gonna be one year natural well since the cut date that's how I count it in um, November of 2013 and I'm really excited about how far I've come. I hope you really like this video. I came to YouTube all the time for inspiration. And I hope this can inspire somebody else to go natural. So thank you for watching. If you have a question or comment, put the comments in the um, commenting thing. I will answer them. I will read them. And I'm going to keep um, making videos every week um, about my hair, about going to college. So if you want to see more from me, subscribe or check back. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.